everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today so today I'm going to be showcasing the most beautiful website with lots of resources and showing you different learning experiences so if you're interested in having a look at this wonderful resource called inquiry maths then please keep on watching So this week I'm going to be having a look at Inquiry Maths, this beautiful website by Andrew Blair, Dr. Andrew Blair. Let me just make myself a little bit smaller here and move myself out of the way. So you can see it's just inquirymaths.com and Andrew has put together a lot of different types of prompts and he explains um, how to introduce a, a, a prompt and um, you can see here he's got number prompts, algebra prompts, geometry prompts so I'm just clicking in here are some algebra prompts like absolutely um, really rich uh, deep conceptual understandings that come from the discussions when students are given these types of prompts um, and I wanted to just point out on his website as well that he's got these lovely regulatory cards which really help students uh, I think to be able to monitor direct and regulate their own learning and um, he did give a talk a little while ago when I had a look at his presentation and he discussed you know how to use these regulatory cards and I love how these cards are used for the different levels of inquiry the different levels of inquiry if I just have a look here they're probably here in an inquiry. Yep, here we go. So if you click on an inquiry maths lesson, there's lots of wonderful, like seven components of mathematical inquiry he talks about. So of course there's the prompt, or we can actually call that the provocation as well, where we question, we notice, and we wonder. And then the second idea about inquiry maths is establishing aims and planning actions. Three is the exploration part. Four is teacher or student explanation. Uh, five is the reasoning improving. Six is presenting results. And then seven is reflecting and evaluating. And I love these seven components that kind of go cyclical in nature, I think. And um, he's put a couple of quotes here. Uh, of course, from the great Polly, George Polya, I actually use this quote in all of my workshops about how mathematics, yes, is a deductive science, but we want to be able to put our students in an exploratory, inductive learning environment and help them to discover, with sca careful scaffolding, discover some of the beauty and the creativity. And here's another beautiful quote as well, talking about how um, it is the math mathematician's creative work uh, to demonstrate reasoning proof and that proof is discovered by plausible reasoning, by guessing. And of course, he um, has a reference here to the great Kath Murdoch, who is like the queen of inquiry. So if you don't know about Kath, then, you know, you must have been hiding under a rock for the last 30 years. <laughs> but she's got this wonderful book, which is on my shelf called The Power of Inquiry. Um, and then what I was talking about were the levels of inquiries. The regulatory cards are used for the levels, you can see. Um, and you can see it, it starts it off very structured inquiry, guided inquiry, and then we have open inquiry. I know that some other educators suggest four levels, but as long as we understand that there are these levels. And if I go back here, I wanted to also show you uh, inquiry in the curriculum. I think a lot of educators always have lots of questions about inquiry maths and how to facilitate an inquiry mathematics lesson uh, because I think mathematics has been approached so didactically for so long. Um, so I think this is a wonderful resource. There's also research articles here you can see. Um, yeah, written by Andrew. Big shout out to you. There's a literature review here with a lot of different resources. I'm just going to click on that so that you can actually see that as well. And so there's, you know, if you have colleagues or educators that are asking you for the evidence 
um, for the use of inquiry and the effectiveness. There are some books, chapters and PhD thesis here. Um, just scrolling down, it's, uh, it's uh, updated quite regularly. Lots of journal articles here. The last thing I wanted to talk about was the assessment for inquiry, because that's always a big question. How do you assess you know, students when they're in the inquiry learning environment? So there's assessment in the inquiry, there's assessment as the end of inquiry and assessment after the inquiry and different phases. So you can see all the guidance here from Andrew about how to assess and of course it's going to be a lot more qualitative than just a straight quiz and a score. Uh, you can see the use of the regulatory cards. I can't wait to use them actually with my students. These I'm going to unpack this website with my students at the University of Hong Kong because I think there's it's such a rich resource and treasure trove of different ideas. So I want to thank you so much for joining me this week. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this wonderful website in the comment section below. And if you've got other great websites and resources uh, for the use of inquiry in the mathematics classroom, then please put it in a comment in the section below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.